Hey everyone, this is this is uh, Agno here. This is going to be my creative class for Modern Warfare 3 for the SEA 545. You can use this either multiplayer. This probably this is going to be primarily for multiplayer, not really going to be for Warzone. If you do want a Warzone uh, creative class, I will put some information while I am doing this creative class. Save y'all some time. I already have the class set up. We're going to go over the. Uh, the attachments are for Y. You can give you go to the firing range, give you a quick uh, testing of how the gun works, how it feels, you know, going from there. So, SVA, first gun you get in the game, pretty much simple. It does a lot of people go in zombies, get everything tense done. Uh, yeah, but let's just get right into it. Just in terms of the barrel, this, these are the attachments I have on screen. Actually, right here, optic, grip, ammo, underbarrel. Don't use no muscles. A lot of the muscles are pretty much useless in this Call of Duty. I don't know what they're going to do once the integration for uh, Warzone begins in a couple hours. Uh, but once the integration for Warzone begins, you can swap out one of these. Probably go for a 45 round mag, go for a 60. You know, but this is going to be more strictly for multiplayer. Because if you want it for Warzone, maybe swap out the uh, just the ammunition. Maybe swap out the rear grip for the like this and go for the magazine. Uh, Optic 2, there's going to be another optic I will bring up so that you can have an option for you because the top two optics right now, I guess I will show you, this is one of them. But no, the barrel, STV Precision, it's the best barrel in here, there's no brainer, it, this is no really, no brainer to go for it, nothing else here really, depends on your play style really, because if you want something that's more sprint to fire or anything else like that, but this one, bolt velocity, the gun kick, the recoil, the aiming for sway, this, it's a no brainer, you lose your hip fire attack stance, you, that you're going to be hip firing too much. And usually you don't hip fire until like they're right up on you anyway. So this barrel, no brainer. This this you will have to unlock through armory. I went ahead and did so. It just says you see the four ones I have for the favorites are pretty much going to be depending on the gun that you want to use. Me, this this grip right here is probably the best grip in the game. A lot of the attachments they brought over Modern Warfare 2 are pretty much obsolete. I was a big fan. I used to be a big fan of the... Uh, Ripper 46, I mean, it's still great, but ain't it? but it's made for sway and hip fire. You don't really get too much. The skeptical grip, you get the sprint to fire speed, which is the first do for an underbarrel attachment and not a rear grip. So you get the sprint to fire speed, you get the gun kick control, you get vertical recoil, and you get aimed out sight speed for the skeptical. And, you know, and then this, 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 this is vertical grip. It's just for me. Frame up to on the gun kick, up to in the vert. You get the sway, and you get the stability for the firing rate. So it's a no-brainer for me. These rounds, now going into the rounds, the rounds are probably some of the most underrated uh, attachments in this game. And this, these high grain rounds here are really nice. Yeah, it says minus two to the recoil, but because you have that uh, vertical foregrip it already attached, so you're getting plus two in the, <coughs> pardon me, you get plus two in the burn velocity, you get plus one in the damage range, so that's no brainer. Grip. You do you lose the sway, but like this, you're not really swaying like this. When you go and aim down sights, which I will show you, you don't get that much sway. You get the firing stability, you get the gun kick control, you get the recoil. So you get full on recoil, full on accuracy, and then here the optic, close range, the MK3 reflector optic. One of the is probably the best optic right now in the game for the sight. The only other option I would suggest would be the Coral Eagle sight. This is not a bad sight. It's probably one of the most clearer picture type optics. Like this for like the magnifications that they have in the game. It's a real subtle sight. Like this, I will show you some uh, fire range in it. Speaking of which, we're gonna go go right in. I'm not even holding my. I'm not even gonna hold my analog stick so you can see how this gun kick is. It's not too shabby. It's not too bad. You barely have to hold on to the gun kick, and it just does its thing. It just it's a straight laser. It's a nice gun to use. Nice for those short to mid range and can do it can do some long range, but it's nice. That's it's a nice all around gun here. So not too much there to change with that. But again, with the optic, which I will show. Oh, went a little too far this time. Jesus, too many optics in this game. Yeah, the eagle eye sight. Again, pinpoint. Just does its thing. It's a decent sight. It's not bad. It's one of the top ones I would suggest. But me, I like close range engagements. The only other optic I like is still for me. I still like the VLK optic from MW2. That's still my personal preference. 
but this is also one of the top objects that you will can have for the game for your multiplayer. Yeah, but that is the create class for the SVA. If you liked the video, drop a like, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe. I also uh, stream on Twitch, so stop by there. Thank you.